Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I do a thrift haul and I think this time I have struck gold. that I found yesterday. This is a picture. It's from a company called, called Midwinter. And up here, I'll, or over here, I'll post some pictures of what I found on Etsy or eBay that were for sale. And it's made in England. But not only did I find this picture, which is beautiful, for $2. Look at that. I also found two of these, which are, this was also $2. Two pieces, really beautiful. I guess it could be for sugar, whatever you want to put in there, but it is so pretty. It's got a little number down here. It's really hard to see, but it's got a six. But when you look inside the lid, it says 26. Here's the second one. Also, oh, this these were a dollar. Oh, well, this one says a dollar, but this one says two dollars. I don't know what they charged me. Again, this one says 26 inside. It's got the two six, same pattern. And then I found four of the dessert plates, 50 cents each, an amazing buy. This pattern, it's funny because it's the same thing. It looks exactly alike, but this one says spring, Stonehenge, spring, midwinter, made in England. There's a letter or a number under there. I'm gonna take it off so that you guys can see it. Oh, this one has the number 27. Well, first the letter F, really, really hard to see, but F27. And then this one is also F27. This one has a seven, it's really hard to see it. And this one also has a seven. There were two dinner plates, but I didn't want to get them because there were only two. And there were also four soup bowls that I regret not getting them, but I did grab six of these plates. And I think these are salad plates because of the size. The dinner plates are a lot larger. These plates were a dollar each. Stonehenge Midwinter. I think the difference between this pattern and the spring, no, they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. I was looking at the butterfly, but this one, this one also has the butterfly. It's exactly the same. So these are six. So some of these do have a letter and a number. So this one is a G. 34, 34 is upside down, but 34 and G. If anybody knows what that G means and the 34, I'd like to know. I didn't find much information about this pattern in eBay or, or any of those sites, but the only thing that I was able to find about some of the patterns about this is that they're mid-century modern. We're looking about the 1950s or so around there which is a nice, very nice find. Last but not least, I got five of these beautiful cups. They are gorgeous, they are amazing. This is what really attracted me to the pattern and to the whole, when I saw the, all of these together, I was, I was floored how beautiful they are. I do not need these. I have a lot of China wear, but I love them. I love them so much that I had to get them. Again, this one says it's very, very hard to see it, but it does say midwinter there and made in England down here. That one has no number, but this one has the 26 on it. Again, they're all in perfect condition. I just love them. 26 again, really, really beautiful pattern. Here's the whole set. I don't see a butterfly in the cups. No butterfly in the cups. Really beautiful. If anybody out there knows anything about these, I'd love to hear it. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. Have you ever heard of this company? Do you own any pattern from this company? I'd love to hear about it. In total, I bought 18 pieces and spent $18 plus tax. Not a bad deal when I'm looking at four dessert plates listed for $1.95. Cherish, I'll post it here. Not bad. If I had to guess, I would say that these pieces here these which are actually embossed so this this says made in England and you can feel it made in England you see there's no stamping and then here it says midwinter and you could only feel it but it's embossed and I would have to guess these to be from the 50s or 60s or maybe even earlier because of that and these being later pieces but either way 
They are beautiful. If anybody out there knows anything about it, please let me know. I'd love to hear it, please. Or if you think they're beautiful, just as I do, please just leave me a comment. I'd love to hear it.